Well, hi guys, this is DR Drake 63 here today and um, would like to uh, briefly uh, address or respond to a statement I heard from one of my, uh, one of my friends. <clears throat> he knows that I've been getting into the cowboy shooting scene here lately and uh, have developed a, an affinity for the, uh, the, the Colt style old, old school six shooter kind of scenario. And he basically made the comment and he said, Dave, um, if you needed to defend yourself with a pistol, would you really want to grab something like this? This is a, an 1873 uh, copy made by uh, Uberti. It's uh, it's got tuned springs and so forth. I've I've done done uh, a couple different videos talking about this. Uh, but would you want to use this, which is a six shooter, which you need to pull back the hammer every time to shoot, so it's not even you know a modern uh, single double action where you keep pulling the trigger and, and and it works the hammer. You have to pull it back every time to shoot and to reload. You can't even speed reloading. Everything is done through the loading gate, as you can see there. So really, what's, what good is a gun like this going to do you in the day and age where uh, people are walking around with something that's going to have a capacity upwards of 17 or 20 rounds that you can accessorize, um, that's going to be a lot faster to shoot, that's going to have modern night sights on it and things of that nature. What's the advantage when you can reload something just that quick compared to a six shooter? And... Uh, I'm not going to tell you for a minute that I believe that uh, that using a, an 1873 Colt design is in any way, shape, or form a better option. Um, but I am going to make a case where ballistically uh, it can be a better option than a modern uh, semi-automatic pistol uh, in some cases. And certainly in the world of self-defense, if, uh, if you needed to take care of, of business, if you needed to defend yourself, uh, in, in terms of the statistics, modern uh, pistol encounters are generally handled in less than four rounds. So I'm gonna briefly talk about ballistics, briefly talk about uh, uh, that capability. Again, in no way am I trying to say, yeah, you should go get you an old six shooter revolver, it's a better option than, uh, than using a modern Glock or a CZ, which I'll show you. No, what I'm saying, guys, is that uh, it's, it's a hell of a lot better than nothing. And we'll get into that. Let's see. Okay, so what you see on the table before you are a couple different examples of designs uh, that are almost unaltered from the past. A modern take on a past design, uh, both single action six shooters and a couple higher capacity semi-auto pistols. You have the Glock 19 here. Here you have the CZ-75B. Um, both of these are gonna typically be considered full size uh, because, because of the size of the grip and so forth. Um, I do actually carry this in the waistband. It works for me. Um, the, uh, I alternate between this and, and uh, a regular Glock 19 and, uh, and that works for me. Uh, the CZ, a little bit too heavy to carry in the waistband, so I'm gonna I'm gonna recognize that as a sidearm, which either of these would be. Uh, here's your here's your uh, your Uberti Taylors right here. This is a Ruger Vaquero, and you can't see it, but this is a, a quite a bit heavier, dutier gun than um, uh, the Taylor Smoke Wagon. Uh, it's built on a frame which is going to be a lot more. Uh, able to handle a steady diet of higher pressure 357 mags as well as the 38 special. Uh, while this is also a 357 magnum uh, pistol, I would not put plus P in this uh, just because um, it's not built as stoutly as this Ruger. This Ruger is is most definitely a modern revolver that looks old school, whereas the, the smoke wagon is definitely gonna function a lot more like, like a historic uh, Colt. Uh, the difference being, uh, number one, it's not in 45 like the Colts were. This is, these are both in 357. And uh, number two, it doesn't cost uh, 2,000 bucks. So, and you can get them. But uh, um, both of these are fine pistols. Both of these will shoot 357. 
And uh, as I mentioned, you can get into some, some worked up hand loads in, in this Ruger, um, which will make it pretty powerful. But for purposes of my discussion today, I'm just gonna talk about some standard 357 stuff, uh, 158 grain jacketed soft point, and uh, that's gonna be this guy right here. These, as you can see, these are both nine millimeter rounds. And if you wanna compare, and if you wanna compare these two rounds, you wonder one which one's more powerful, it's kind of a no brainer. Here we've got uh, the spear gold dot, that's a plus P round. I'm gonna throw up statistics in a second. Uh, but what you're seeing here is, without having to think too hard about it, which one's gonna pack a bigger punch, it's not too hard to tell just by looking at the, the length of the case on these guys. You see the muzzle velocity at 1220 feet per second on the Spear Gold Dot with 410 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Now compare that to the 539 on a non-souped up, just run-of-the-mill 357 Magnum round. Lots more powerful. As was mentioned, um, you know, this CZ was designed to be a sidearm. And uh, this particular one is the uh, is called the CZ seventy five BD Police. What makes it the police version um, is basically there's a lanyard on there. Um, not a lot of differences otherwise. This one's got a little bit of an upgraded trigger. Um, I've had this gun for a while, uh, a number of years. I really like it. Uh, the D just means it's decocker. So, so. Instead of having to pull the trigger to lower um, the hammer, you can simply use this decocker to bring the hammer down so this gun's not gonna fire. You're gonna have to pull this all the way back. Okay. Um, with, with, uh, with the Glock, it's a striker fire pistol and we're not here today to do anything other than let you know that uh, uh, I, I carry this in, 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 a, in a chambered condition. There is no safety. Um, there is no hammer. Uh, we always assume this gun is loaded and handle it as such. We handle every firearm as if it's loaded. But to operate this thing, you basically pull it out of the holster and you pull the trigger and it's going to go boom. And it's going to handle uh, any kind of 9mm you want to put in it. And uh, this plus P spear is... is uh, well reviewed. Thank God I've never had to use it in a real life situation, but uh, it shoots well and I've heard good things about it in terms of uh, not over penetrating and doing its job. Um, again, looking at, looking at this kind of single action, every time you want to shoot, you need to pull the trigger. And if you want to decock it, you have to pull the trigger and slowly let your hammer down. Okay, so uh, in that particular case, every time you want to shoot, you need to pull pull back that hammer with your with your thumb. Okay, so you can sit here and do this all day, and nothing's going to happen. Um, if I pick up a Glock and and do that, it's going to go off. If you look at this CZ right here, I can leave this in this condition, and just with a long first pull, I can make it go off just like that every time. After your first shot, though, it's going to go back to this cock position much easier trigger pull, okay? So that's a single action, double action. This is a striker fire. These are both single action. So what's gonna be your, your fastest way to shoot? It's gonna be this right here. Um, I'm gonna be able to shoot this Glock faster uh, than any of the three, especially that first shot. CZ's a semi-auto, I'm gonna be able to shoot that very quickly as well. These two guys, I can shoot pretty quickly. You know, I can, I, can, uh, I can shoot six rounds and hit a target up close uh, inside of about three, four seconds. Um, however, uh, and especially, you know, uh, working the hammer with my other, my other hand and not shooting it one hand like see John Wayne do. Um, here's my point. <clears throat> In terms of the damage you can do to somebody, the 357 and its, and, and its various higher power configurations is gonna beat the nine millimeter every time, every day, okay? So if you're talking about whatever you're shooting, uh, you're gonna shoot with uh, two shots and you can, you can place those shots well, um, you're gonna do more damage with this 357. It's got a much better range. So when someone says, uh, you know, 
Hey Dave, you're not going to be able to do any damage to anybody. You really can't defend yourself with a six shooter. Um, sorry, but uh, that's just absolutely a patently false statement. Is it as good an option, especially for concealed carry, uh, as, as something like this? Uh, no, it's not. That's why we have modern firearms. And, you know, this, this is heavily reliant on polymer to save weight. Uh, this this is a, an all steel gun, so this this is going to have a weight which is very similar to this. Um, uh, it's a little bit less because it doesn't have the cylinder on it, and um, your your ability to, to operate these firearms is going to be pretty much if you practice with them and what you're used to. But uh, don't get me wrong, somebody somebody uh, uninvited comes in the house and, and, and I have one of these nearby, I'm not going to hesitate to pick it up and use it. I know it's going to do the job. I know I can, I can fire it with a, a, a decent amount of accuracy, uh, but no, I can't accessorize it with a nightlight. Uh, I'm not going to put night sights on my cowboy action guns. So from that standpoint, Something like this out of the box is a much, much more um, effective home defense or self-defense uh, type of firearm. So there's no argument there, but let's just get honest. You have the ability to use um, uh, a firearm of this magnitude and you're proficient with it. There's no reason to believe that uh, it can't help you when needed. Okay, so we've taken a look at some different, some different versions of the personal defense pistol. Uh, John Wayne, Bruce Willis, <laughs> whatever. Uh, the point is you have the, you have the ability uh, to defend yourself with firearms and you know how to use them. The old, the old ones, the older designs can be plenty effective, uh, not optimal, but this is just all in rebuttal to somebody making what I consider to be a very ignorant statement, which is, you can't defend yourself with a six shooter. And I'd beg to differ. So would Wild Bill Hickok and Doc Holliday and quite a few other people. But uh, I want to thank you for watching and indulging my little rant today. Thanks for watching. This is DR Drake 63 saying so long.